Today we're looking at the Superbase Cash Helpers for automatic cash key generation for React Query. Now this is part of our three part React Query with Next.js um, series. So do make sure you have a look at these two videos first as um, this is building up on that and then dive into the cash helpers to make that a really good developer experience. Now one thing that I personally love, um, so maybe let's uh, give that uh, commit here feature add SSR. So we can we have our changes committed. Um, now if you remember here, we had the um, use country query. So this is where we are generating our um, query key. Now, um, you know, this is a bit burdensome if you have to like generate the, the query key. So one thing that um, my friend Philip uh, has done is he's built the Superbase cache helpers uh, back then actually for a hackathon. Uh, and it is a really, really cool project um, that actually generates automatically generates the keys for you. Um, okay, there's no keys. Uh, generate uh, automatic. Yeah, yeah, automatic cache key generation. So this, this is really cool. And it works with um, react query out of the box. So maybe we can look at um, this here and kind of see how we can incorporate this into our project and make it a little bit more convenient. So um, we can get started, we can look at um, get query here. So it is really, really very easy, we just kind of need to replace our use query with um, the at superbase. Uh, cache helper uh, use query. And the, the way this works is basically you just wrap your um, super base query here um, into the use query. And basically, um, what this cache helper does, it looks at the query, and it generates a unique um, query key for um, our query. So we don't need to worry about the, the query key at all, we can just um, do do that fun stuff. So maybe we go back into here where we're using our use query. So first of all, we will need to install our dependency. So let's say uh, npm install uh, Postgre. Uh, oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. We want react query here. Uh, npm install um, cache helpers, Postgres React query. So that's what we want. And then once we have that um, installed, we can just import the use query here um, from the Superbase cache helpers. And now rather than using the use country query, you see here we already have this get country by ID. So we already have um, kind of our Superbase query. This is basically our Superbase query. So we can now use this um, immediately. So we can immediately say, um, instead of this, we use our get country by ID query. And our get country by ID query um, needs uh, a type Superbase client and a country ID. So our Superbase client and our params dot ID here, give that a save. And so now um, we don't need our use country query. Um, so if you remember, this was where we're generating our um, query key and our query function. So we don't need this anymore. Uh, because now this is automatically generated by the cache helpers use query. So now npm run dev. Um, so if we go back to our countries, just verify that this is um, still working loading. Yes, we get our countries. And so now let's also switch this out in our um, server component. So here we're using this um, prefetch query. So now we can actually import um, the prefetch query from um, the so we can say import from 
the um, cache helpers. So this has a prefetch query. Uh, and then instead of this uh, query client, we're using our um, prefetch query. And so um, now our prefetch query needs both our um, so we can look at this here, we need to pass the query client that is um, this query client here. So query client, and then we need to pass our get country by it and get country by id remember needs our superbase client and our param stash it. And so now we're prefetching this and then the last thing we need to do is in our country component you remember here we're using our use query so again uh, let's replace this with the add superbase cache helpers use query and then um, rather than the use country query hook which is a get country by id we need to pass our superbase client and we need to pass our Uh, no, in this case, it's actually just ID. There we are. And that should be it. So we can get rid of this one here. And so now um, we go back as is our countries. And there we are. Everything is working as expected. But now we didn't have to generate the query keys ourselves but um, the cash helpers are taking care of that. So um, if you like that, you know, leave a star there. It's um, a really, really great project. And yes, you know, in combination both with uh, server side rendering as well as client components, um, I think you have kind of the best of both worlds together here. I think um, there is some some trade offs here, like if you're starting a new, like fully Next.js 14, like a new project, um, I think there was sort of like, you know, new concept, um, you might actually not need server components, uh, you might actually not need um, react query at all. So yeah, there, there's kind of a couple of words here, you know, um, it's hard to give general advice when it makes sense to pair react query with server components or not. Um, so I think in general, if you're starting out with a new project, um, you know, you might actually not need uh, react uh, query at all, you can just directly fetch, um, you know, using Superbase JS in your in your server components. Um, however, you know, if you have like an existing React Query project, or you know, you're very familiar with React Query, and you want to kind of um, have both, you know, the, the client side data fetching and the server side world, and you know, sort of slowly migrate things over, then I think this approach could um, make great sense for you. I hope this was useful. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.